All right, all right. Safe and sound. Let's get right to this. I got a few things to cover. A lot of things happened. I hope you can hear me. We're doing this to prove a point that we just need to be safe, people. We just need to be safe. But without further ado, welcome to the weekly recap. Uh, didn't do this last week. We did have a Ghost of uh, Tsushima video up, so if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. Awesome game. And some new graphics. But on that vein, that's where we're going to start. We're going to start with Ghost of Tsushima. It has been said that they are going to release some free content. What is this free content? It is multiplayer. They're going to have up to four people can play together doing missions. They haven't completely specified whether or not this is going to be a uh, story, if this is going to be independent missions. I have, a, I think it's going to be more independent um, multiplayer mode. But I do like that for a game that has such a solid single player, they didn't force multiplayer into it immediately. This is something that's more of an afterthought, which is really nice. Because if you're forcing it in, uh, and a lot of games have done it, where it's just, it, it defeats the purpose. So they, they really made an awesome single player, then they're adding multiplayer. I'm fine with that. Might be fun. The game is fun. So we'll see. Maybe you and your friends can have samurai duels against each other. That would be awesome. Talking about multiplayer news, I want to talk about the Untitled Goose Game, I believe it's its, it's actual name, um, came out a while. It's out on consoles now, but they are going to be adding a multiplayer feature to this game. It is, I haven't played it, I've just watched a video of it, and it is quirky uh, in the vein of almost like Goat Simulator. It's just such an odd game where you're playing as a goose, terrorizing people and the environment, and has such a cute art style, but yeah. It's something different, so hey, that's I just I wanted to keep the theme going with multiplayer, uh, and I guess kind of another multiplayer-ish story. I don't know. I have not played Rainbow Six Siege, but Sam Fisher is actually going to be uh, playable soon. He's they have announced that there is going to be a new expansion coming out that is going to incorporate Sam Fisher. The last time we saw him in any. Uh, capacity was Ghost Recon Wildlands had a whole mission structure based around him where he helped him. I played only this much of it and then I kind of moved on to other games. So I only did the intro. I even recorded gameplay of it and then lost the gameplay, lost the game. Not, I didn't lose the game. I got rid of it, but I digress. But yeah, Sam Fisher's, uh, we're getting more and more closer and closer to teasing maybe a new Splinter Cell you know, we haven't seen an actual Splinter Cell game in a while. I think Conviction was the last one, which was really good. But that was a while ago. That was on the 360. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But whatever. Uh, that gets some of the easy gaming news out. Now, there's about to be a big, big cluster of news all revolving around the same thing. Uh, with everything going on with this, we have not had conventions, we haven't had expos, there's so much that we haven't had. And DC has taken upon themselves to make DC Phantom. Now, they've announced a lot of stuff and we're gonna hammer through, oh, geez. I don't even know what I wrote half the time. Five, one, two, three, four, five articles. Had to read my script. So. Don't you love this? It's just Sharpie and a napkin. Hey, he gets the job done. But let's dive in. I got five things to go over real quick in the DC world, and it's all revolving around one thing. So, for starts, oh, shit. Well, six things, but we didn't get one of them in. Uh, they released the first teaser for the Suicide Squad movie that Sean Gunn is doing. Forgot to throw that in. Oh, well. But we're staying with video game news. There's going to be a Suicide Squad game. I talked about this shoo, two weeks ago, maybe three, I don't know, that is being rumored. We got our first gameplay, not gameplay, but like, we got some visuals. Uh, King Shark, Harley Quinn. No direct, well, even though these characters are going to be in the new movie, that's not a reboot, but like, I don't even know where to get, begin with that movie. It's got two people in it I don't like, and it's got a couple I do, so I am, I don't know how to feel about that movie yet, but... Either way, there's a video game, and the video game is being made by Rocksteady. They are the ones that are behind all the Batman games, except, like, the last two. 
we'll get to that. So they have an awesome studio behind what could be a really good game. Time will tell. Is it going to be a movie tie-in game? Is it going to be independent? Is there something we don't know? I don't know. But Suicide Squad, we got our first glimpse of some of the movie stuff and some of the game stuff. We're still in video game news, though, so, you know, let's keep going with it. Speaking of more uh, Batman World stuff, DC stuff, while Rocksteady is working on the Suicide Squad game, WB, which is the other studio involved in the whole Batman video game world, who made Arkham Knight and, I think, Origins? Don't quote me on that, but they made two of them after Rocksteady stepped down and went on to other things. Suicide Squad, apparently. Uh, but they are making a game. So we're getting another Batman game. And Batman Gotham Knight. Now, or Knights. So what we have here is a game that's going to be very similar to the Batman games. Except now it has an emphasis on four characters. Red Hood, Robin, Batgirl, Nightwing. All allies of Batman are going to be teaming together. They showed off some gameplay of it, and the gameplay definitely emphasized what looked very multiplayer-ish. So, and WB did a pretty good job with Arkham Knight. So I'm not knocking them. It'll be very interesting that we get two different games in the Batman universe that are made by studios that have worked on the core games. So, to see what they make of all this, intriguing nonetheless. Now, uh. <laughs> We're gonna, we're, there's a lot of Batman this week. We're going to just keep diving in. Oh my god. How you doing, Robert? Ah, we got our first trailer for The Batman. Now, we're going to pause here and think about this real long and hard. Any uh, skepticism I might have had before, and I want to give it a fair chance, because back with Heath Ledger's Joker... A lot of people, before they saw it, said, eh, he can't do it. They were proven wrong. This trailer looks freaking awesome. Like, I am very pumped for this movie. Robert Pattinson, it, I'm, I'm very intrigued. Like, this movie looks really good just from that one trailer. We got teases of the Riddler. They've already talked that uh, Colin Farrell is, I think, playing the Penguin. Um, I can't think of his name. Jeffrey Wright? is Commissioner Gordon, the guy from uh, who plays Bernard in uh, Westworld. And he's also <laughs> voices on Rick and Morty. I don't know. Um, yeah, that was a good episode. But uh, he voices one character on Rick and Morty, whose name I'm drawing a blank on right now. But yeah. Either way, if you haven't seen the trailer, watch the trailer. It looks awesome. That, that's where I want to leave that. I have more Batman news, but not this Batman. We have the other Batman. We have the, the Ben Affleck and the Flash. So, Mr. Affleck, who has decided to put on the outfit again. He, we originally were under the impression that he was going to be done, that he doesn't want to do another one. He has signed on to play Batman at least one more time in the upcoming, uh, maybe next year, who knows when, Flash movie. And I will say it, Justice League sucks. Didn't like it that much. Has a lot of problems. He is not the problem in it. Ezra Miller's Flash is one of the highlights, if not the highlight of that entire movie. I'm excited for him having a solo outing. I did not watch, uh, I don't watch the WB ones much, just, I don't. But I saw the clip of Ezra Miller's Flash meeting their, the other guy's Flash in the Flashpoint Paradox. And it's awesome, just that little thing. Like, this guy's good at it. I like it. And I love his line. Like, I don't really... I just, I run really fast and I push people and then I run away. I love that. I also think Joey, you look a lot like him, but side note, you should do a Flash uh, costume if you haven't yet. Speaking of the Flash movie, though, I have one last thing. One last thing in all of this news. Uh, ben Affleck's coming back and uh, apparently so is Michael Keaton. Uh, he's in talks to be reprising a role for this Flash movie as well. Now, the concept, it seems to be that The Flash is going to be exploring multiverses. They might have done some tie-in with the WB. Who knows? With that one little cameo. There's a lot going on. But we're going to get not only Ben Affleck returning, we're also getting Michael Keaton's Batman. I'm very intrigued with all of that. I would love to see Kevin Conroy 
done it one more time as he did in Flashpoint Paradox, but you know, I ain't gonna be greedy. Maybe even we'll get a Val Kilmer. Uh, maybe George Clooney and the Bat Nips will come back. Who knows? There's a lot of things going on with this Flash movie. A lot of moving parts. DC does not have, uh, they don't have the best universe building. They have a great standalone world. The Dark Knight trilogy is really good. It has some points that are better than others. Uh, the middle one is, of course, amazing, as we talked about Heath Ledger. The Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix as a standalone is awesome. The Batman is looking to be really good. Their animated movies are awesome. It'll be really intriguing to see how this all happens. And we're still getting the new Wonder Woman movie. They showed a new trailer for that. Throwing on extra news here. Uh, we're getting the Snyder cut of um, Justice League. We talked about that a while ago, but they showed a trailer for that. There was a lot of things that were announced in the DC world. So, yeah, it's been an interesting time. Um, but that's really all I got. I wanted to keep it short, sweet, simple. I hope that this didn't take too much of your time. Uh, I got nothing else. Do I have nothing else? I have nothing else. So for more stories like this, definitely check out the Extreme Hardcore Nerds page. I'm, of course, Dan, at least on paper. Be safe. Be kind. I'll see you next time.